Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today is February 26, 2019. Uh, as always, thank you, camerastore.com, for sponsoring the news. And um, first thing, I want to start again with the prints. I have been printing the Campbell Wide video uh, shots, and there's going to be three prints. And they're going to be on sale once I post the darkroom video, which took me two whole days to produce and make the prints. Um, those people that want to purchase them, there's going to be a special price on my website before I post the video. So they'll be 25 euros shipped if you want. I'm going to make a bundle of three because there's three shots and I think they look very nicely together, which those three shots will be 75 euros shipped to you. Um, and for those who have bought the prints um, before uh, last Saturday, I shipped them Saturday. So thank you so much for those collaborating and helping this channel by buying prints. Remember, they're darkroom handmade prints by me in the darkroom uh, last uh, Sunday and yesterday, Monday. So I want to say thank you for that. Um, second, let's go to the news right now. So we have the Fuji price increase. Okay, we all know Fuji uh, has been let's say slowly backing out of the film uh, game. The Fuji film name in the brand is kind of dropping. But the price increase is not a big thing that nobody was surprised about. It's surprising that it's a 30% minimum price increase. They're saying it's going to be for the color film and whatnot. So that is sad news for those who shoot Velvia, Provia, and uh, 400H, and the lower stock like the Superia 200, which actually is sort of discontinued. Um, but I found that I have some of this film, uh, Fuji Press 800. I might be giving away some. Whoever does buy the three print uh, pack of film or, or uh, prints, we'll get a few rolls as a thank you. This is expired in 2005, I think. But if you're into funky colors, uh, I'll send you a few rolls. But yeah, or anyone on Patreon that wants to add and send me a message, I'll send them a few rolls for sure. So yeah, Fuji's gonna start being really expensive. Um, but it's not surprising to anyone. Also, let's say that Kodak has bumped the price 6% here in Spain. I'm sure it's gonna be a five or 6% around the world too. So it's nothing new. Ilford still, we don't know what's happening with the whole Brexit deal, but be assured that they've been increasing prices throughout the years. So yeah, it's sad to see. And uh, the question I say is, when was the last time you actually bought a roll of Fujifilm, uh, slide film, for example, and shot a whole roll, I don't know, in a few days? Um, at least me, it's been months, even years since I did that. So I'm not surprised to see them doing this. But let's get uh, back to topic. Kodak's Jeff Clark, the CEO, uh, steps down. Now he's not going to be uh, any longer in the front of Kodak. He was the one that grabbed Kodak when it was basically coming out of bankruptcy or mid-bankruptcy. I'm not exactly sure of the dates. And he's the one that said film was the core business of uh, Kodak and that they should keep trying to grow that. So thanks to him, I think we've seen the Ektachrome coming back. We've seen you know, them trying to move towards more film products and not less film products. Also, we all know the crazy ventures Kodak's try to do, like the phone and other things. Those things, I think, were not so much maybe part of his legacy, but maybe the one before him. And hopefully, we'll see a more, you know, um, advanced film, you know, pushing from Kodak in the future. Ektachrome coming hopefully in 120 and uh, large format sheets will be very nice once Fuji keeps bumping prices up. But don't expect Kodak to be extremely cheap either. It's a very small market and that has to be shown. In other news, we have Lomography uh, with the Lomagon or Lomagon, which is a 32 millimeter lens um, f2.5 with a kind of circle, you know, circly bokeh uh, background. For those who like a li different look, Lomography is, you know, one of those brands that makes these things. It looks like those brass old lenses that people would shoot on large format or wet plate nowadays. And uh, yeah, if you're interested, they've already backed it like 400% uh, of what they were looking for. But it's very interesting. I'm also um, going to get my hands on some Lomography stuff to review if you're interested on that. But uh, that'll be another story. And then we have the SP 8x10 um, tray processor. There's a little update. Uh, there's a video on YouTube about how they've changed the idea of maybe doing more than only one 8x10, but maybe doing four 4x5s or two 5x7s. 
Uh, you can watch the video. They've already, I think, gotten to 40% of what they want to fund, but they're creating their own platform for the funding. So as they said, they can push it a little longer if they want to achieve that 100% to get the molds done. And basically, that's all the news for this week. There's not so much. Um, hopefully, there'll be better news uh, next week. But that Fuji price increase, if you're interested, is going to start uh, April 1st. So you can buy your film before that. I actually bought some 400H and 120 for a review I want to do. Uh, but yeah, uh, anyone that wants to send me any information, you can send an email to the email below. Someone, and I think it was Roger, sent me an email about the Fuji price increase. Thank you, Roger. And um, also those people on Patreon, we have a WhatsApp group, which is pretty fun. Thank you for all that have been joining lately. And yeah, we'll see each other in the next week. Thank you, guys.